I've got uh, Rachel Cruz here, the co-host of The Ramsey Show, financial expert extraordinaire. So she has to walk the walk on these things and advice. And you and I were mentioning during the break, you try to counsel and help people who are get, you know, concerned about the way things are going, yeah. concerned about their own financial futures, their kids, uh, all the more now, right? Yeah, for sure. There's a lot of fear. I mean, I think and still with stuff with inflation going on and people are just feeling it. We were talking during the break, you know, even I have three little kids and it's like when I'm home and I'm making lunches, doing the grocery shop, like you just, you feel the tension of what people are going through. And so you see the everyday expenses are still high with inflation. And so just helping people see, okay, how do I cut expenses? How do I up my income? How can I control what I can control. Because that's what's hard, Neil, is, you know, people sit maybe watching this, right? And right. They're, they're seeing all these news. They're seeing the strikes that are happening. They're seeing, you know, possible government shutdown. And we can't control any of that. So what are the things that we can control day to day? And that's what I really encourage people to focus on. Yeah, I mean, Dave is fond of saying it's not what you make, it's what you keep. In yes. other words, uh, if you spend more than you make, no matter how much you make, you're still in a, in a pickle here. That's right. Uh, and now we have uh, these surveys that have been done of people all the way up from the struggling middle class mm -hmm. all the way to millionaires who are concerned about their retirement. Um, I've never seen that happening at the same time. Yes, both ends of the spectrum. I know I yeah. saw a study come out that people that make, I think it was like $330,000 a year still feel poor. Yeah. Is what they said. And I was like, okay. Depends and, on where you live, right? Yeah, yeah. But I'm like, okay, you know, we have to look at our lifestyle. We have to look at the expectations of what we think life is. And I think that's a big thing, Neil. You know, I'm a, I'm a millennial. And yeah. so when I even talk to people within my age group, what you just expect, you expect a certain lifestyle. You expect a certain house, your kitchen looking a certain way, two-car family, kids go into the schools you want to go to. I mean, the, this expectation. And so what's hard is when your life is not meeting that expectation to fill in the gap is where debt comes into play. And that's what gets people into a lot of trouble. But there and are debt people... gets more expensive the higher rates go. But it's, right. I'm old enough to, you're, you said, uh, I'm a millennial. Uh, I'm <laughs> Just technically, like you, Neil. I'm Just technically like you. dead. So uh, <laughs> what, what I notice is that uh, rates are high. Yes. But I, I don't think I told you this, but when my wife and I got our first mortgage, it was 13.5%. I know. Now, that was almost a screaming by a level at that time. I yes. thought I was a genius. Found out that plenty of people got it for far less. But my point is, perspective is everything, right? And we're actually returning, aren't we, to a more historic norm or not? Yes. No, we are, absolutely. Yeah, my dad, you know, when he was selling houses, he always says that when he got into the real estate business, you yeah. know, in the 80s, how high interest rates were, but we were just so used to that two, three percent, which is That's just right. wild. That's right. So it's what, yes, it's what you're used to, but the perspective, I think, is really spot on because you want to zoom out and people make so many bad financial decisions because they're just looking at the present and they're saying, what can I do today and tomorrow? They're not looking five, but 10, But what do you tell future millennials, people young like yourself yeah. and younger still? who say, you know, we'll never get through this. I mean, what do you say? Yeah, well, I would say we, I, I believe in the American economy enough to know that we will, but you have to make decisions to set you up well. And the problem is, again, whether it's lifestyle, whether it's credit card debts, whether it's car loans, I think the debt that is eating at people's income that I see day in and day out, it's hard for them to keep their income to build wealth long term. And so you have to have goals five years or less. So I always tell people be budgeting month to month, Plan on getting out of debt. Set yourself up for a plan. Well, you guys get an emergency hate credit funds. cards, right? Debit yeah. cards are okay. Yeah, debit cards are fine. Your dad still runs around with a bag of cash or something like that. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, travels with a suitcase right, of right, cash right. around. No, but it's you know it's looking at those things and it's being intentional too, Neil. And I think for a lot of people, they are struggling and they do feel a lot of fear, a lot of stress. They're losing sleep at night, and so they are just making these decisions. How do I get through the day? How do I get to the next paycheck? And so you want to be able to set yourself up to have that financial foundation to say, okay, I don't owe anyone anything. I have an emergency fund in place. So pay the bills happens. off first, then save after that? Yes, yeah, and then be looking into retirement. But the problem is okay. we're trying to do 18 things at once, and you get stuck. You get yeah. stuck. And so being focused one thing at a time is really key. And so it, But it is hard, right? We talk to people every day on The Ramsey Show, and, and it is. It's a difficult time for people. But it's also, I have a lot of hope because we hear people day in and day out that are winning. They're yeah. choosing no, they to do are. something. I, I, They're sacrificing My biggest joy would it. be listening to your dad as people are calling up and he's giving them a, a high dose of tough love and, yeah. and just ripping them a new one. And I live for that because I just say this. You poor, love it. Yeah, I do love it. And Sometimes we the tough that. love is good. Uh, Sometimes Rachel, uh, it my best to the gang. Rachel Cruz, the host of the Ramsey Show. Um, they speak in English and they, they, they explain and share this in English, which is not a bad concept. 
I mean, we could use that in Washington, right?